there it is diamond camel and tactical rifles let's go baby so without further ado we started with the dmr did the m16 we did the aug we had to finally finish out with the type 63 so let's do it that's gold on it and that's diamond on type 63 we can now use this in game so i'm going to change all of them that's gold on the dmr we're going to change it to diamond i kept all of these just because i wanted to show all the classes that i used to unlock diamond this is diamond on the m16 this is diamond on the aug all right so this is the dmr diamond the class i was running with the dmr for the majority of the time when i'm not really going for long shots as i always do i take off one attachment and i add a scope usually the attachment is the one that does the least amount in terms of increasing the weapon but for the main one that i used for the dmr i used the muzzle was the infantry compensator 20.8 Task force barrel, under barrel is bruiser grip, magazine is the 35 round fast mag, and the handle is the SASR jungle grip. That's how it looks, diamond and gold. I'm really preferring diamond a lot more than gold because diamond does the entire gun. The next gun we did, I should have did the Type 63 after that because they're both single round guns, but I went to the three round burst, I did the M16. I kept with this class the entire time, I didn't change any iron sights. I ran the SUSAT multi zoom. When I didn't run that, I ran like a 3x zoom or a 2x zoom. Barrel, I won the, the ran the 16.3 rapid fire. Under barrel is the bruiser grip. Magazine is the 54 round fast mag and stock is the SAS combat stock. That's how it looks diamond and that's how it looks gold. I'm kind of a fan of gold on this gun because it takes up the entire gun. Next one we did was the AUG. I was preparing to do the AUG last but I ended up doing it third over the Type 63. I ran the Axel arm 3x. Barrel I ran the 18 rapid fire. Magazine was the 45 round speed mag but I'm going to change it to 54 rounds fast mag. Handle, speed tape, and stock the tactical stock. That's how it looks diamond and that's how it looks gold. And for the final weapon that we did was the type 63 i ran this class throughout again axle arms 3x kgb eliminator barrel is the 21.5 match grade under barrel is the spetsnaz grip and the magazine is the 35 round fast mag every time i unlock the new magazine that goes up i added that that's how it looks diamond and that's how it looks gold and those are the four classes i ran for these weapons to get diamond so we're gonna jump into a game and use all of them so my plan is i'm gonna use one gun half this game and then another gun in the half of the next game then get into another game do half and half so we use all four and i just talk about it for a couple minutes give it a little bit of game gameplay show them off in game we're gonna start off from the backwards so type 63 diamond looks awesome little weapon inspect damn it's nice i love diamond man oh my god like i say every one of these guns the hardest challenge for me was getting kills behind cover what's up right side garage doing some call outs and they work most of these guns besides the dmr are really not meant for short range but i mean they're tactical rifles so i kind of feel like that's that's known but the dmr i finished the dmr right at the what are you doing laying there i finished the dmr right at the end of it being like op oh what are you doing no one thing to do no i wanted to oh, i found the most success in getting kills behind cover <laughs> In these two windows mainly being in that window not this one but it still took a lot of games to get that challenge done you guys gotta let me know down in the comments if there's a better way to get it on nuketown i really wasn't a fan of any of the iron sights on these guns besides for the dmr damn but if you do need long shots like i say for every gun this side of the map right over here from either side is the best way to do it all oh, through the flames but yeah i'm really i'm really liking this diamond Oop. One guy, car, right? Damn, they're really going hard with these callouts. Do that. Got you. Didn't see that coming, did you? Alright, we're gonna switch over to the AUG now after this death. So let's try to get one more kill with it. A nice long shot. Type 63 was better than I expected, I could say that. But for my final thoughts on the gun, honestly, though, I had no complaints with any of the guns. I really enjoyed using them all. No, let me get that one. All right, now we're going to the three. Here we go. The AUG. Woof. Damn. That is nice. Ran the same scope on this AUG. The AUG, honestly, if I'm ranking the guns, the AUG would probably be right behind the DMR, if not in front of the DMR. So it's either the DMR or the AUG is number one. And then I would probably say... It's a fight for three and four between the M16 and the Type 63. I would say the AUG is the better three-round burst gun and the DMR is the better one-round gun. What's up? I found a lot of success with this gun, also with hip fire for some reason. At a point in Cold War's life, all of these guns have been OP, which is something cool, something, something to think about. 
<laughs> See what I mean? The hip fire. Damn, I really like how it like just shines. It takes a it, the guns that it takes up the entire gun. It just looks so nice, especially like the M16 in this where it has so much like surface area. Oop. Oop. A little triple kill action. I'm also gonna make a couple. I'm gonna make four more classes <laughs> with the guns gold. Get out of here. Whoop! God, it's just so good. I just want to show them off all gold too. So we're gonna start off, showcase them all real quick. Just gold, just a little couple of weapon inspects. That's gold on this one. This is the Type 63. This is gold on the M16. Gold on the AUG. And this is gold on the DMR. Matches my watch. But this is diamond on the M16, baby. It looks nice as shit. Whew, that's what we really came for. Look at that glow. What's up? Got you. Damn. You know what, actually, I really, what I noticed was with the three round burst guns, I had a lot of success with hip fire, not just the AUG now, if I remember correctly. God. We in this spawn now. Come on. Come on. Woof. Come on. On a little merciless right now. Ah, oh, man, your teammate got right in front of you. All right, let's head over to the DMR after this life. The first one I got done. Got you. And this is the DMR Diamond, baby. Hell yeah. I did run a scope on this just for long shots. Once I got all the long shots done with the DMR. I took it off for the iron sights because I really liked them. Come on. Come on. Oop. Yo. Okay. Someone's over here. Oh, he's got the death machine. Well, that was a nice spawn for me. Ooh, through the smoke. Come on, let's close off with this win. Damn, 98, 98. Ah. Anyway, that was the Tactical Rifles Diamond. We're going to move on to Assault Rifles now. My final ranking would be the DMR is number one. Number two would be the AUG. Number three would be the M16. And number four would be the Type 63. Let me know what you're up to for DM Ultra if you're going for it or if you got it. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.